Well, hello, boys and girls. Here we are at When I Feel Like It O'Clock. And I'm Pearl of Wisdom. You're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Uh, back in the bathroom again because there's just so much. It's so hectic in this little apartment that I'm at. I, uh, it's the only place I can find to, to really give you the time you need. Because you're my fans and you deserve it. And you can help me with this, by the way, by hitting that subscribe button and the bell. Make me a YouTube sensation. And we will find a more appropriate setting for the fine pearls I'm about to send to you. Yes. Okay, anyways, I want to talk about games last night. First of all, I got my ass handed to me on my picks. Everybody knows that. It doesn't happen often. It did. Get over it. It's okay. What I wanted to talk about, though, is the Pittsburgh Penguins. Losing to the Jets with a defense that consisted of... Heinola, Pullman, Dahlstrom, Boteto, Niku, and Pionk. If you don't know most of those names, I'm, the sad thing is I know all those players. But I, maybe it's not sad. I mean, I know hockey. I know all the players that I just said. A normal human being who has a life should not know who those players are. <laughs> they That is like the most nondescript defensive unit you could that is in the NHL right now, for sure. Uh, any team should not be losing to a defense like that. Now, apparently the, apparently the Jets' uh, goaltending was fantastic last night, but even at that, to lose 4-1, to one, I could see maybe by one point. Murray didn't have the best night, uh, supposedly, but... I wasn't able to watch the game. I actually had to take my wife out last night uh, for brownie point reasons. And, um, yeah. But apparently from my, the chatter on the web, on the uh, interweb, uh, Pittsburgh played horrible. Uh, and from the game, they, the game I saw them before that, I can't remember who they played now, they looked horrible. Horrible. Um, anyway, people thought and Malkin seemed to have this arrogance about him that getting rid of Kessel was going to change the room and everything. Well, if this changed the room, it didn't change it for the better by the looks of it. You look fucking horrible, Pittsburgh. Get your shit together because Sullivan's going to be fired within 10 games the way this is going. However, I've stated before, and I'll state it again, they should have started a rebuild two years ago. Um, it's foolish what they're doing. The, mo the longer this goes, the more uh, pain there's going to be. This team is not set up to win cups anymore. They're not what I would call contenders anymore, and it's not changing anytime soon. So it's time to rebuild. Uh, okay, now we go to... Uh, games for today. Um, I wanted to talk about a few other things, but I don't want this to go too long. Uh, the Habs and the Sabres. The question right now is Price apparently has a hand injury, and we're not sure whether he's going to be playing tonight. Um, if he's not playing tonight, I am going to say that the Sabres win this game. Even if he was playing, I was taking the Sabres to win this game. Ralph Kruger has the Sabres playing extremely well. Last game, notwithstanding, wasn't the best end of a kind of a road trip sort of thing, but they still came out with a tie. The energy in that room seems to be fantastic. Now, Connor Sherry apparently is on the shelf now. That shouldn't change things too much. Rodriguez will probably come in. Sounds like Rodriguez had a bit of a maybe off-season off. <laughs> kind of got the bigger money and did a lot of vacationing and maybe not working out so much and his conditioning wasn't quite there. So we'll see how he looks. But I think the Sabres probably win this game. Uh, by the way, Habs, the Habs and the Duran situation, I wanted to talk about that. Now, I do believe this was to put a fire under Duran's ass. They, have, they are playing him kind of on a third line to mix up their lines right now. Um, there isn't really a third line on their team right now, 
but um, he's not playing with Domi and he's not playing with Dano. He's playing with the young Kokaniemi kid. And honestly, their defense, they have Sherratt in their top four. That's not ideal. I don't know how much they explored actually trading um, Duran, but if they could get a top four defenseman and something else for him, I would highly recommend they do because Noah Juleson might be coming in and that could help, but their overall makeup of their defense, I don't believe, puts them near cup material. So they definitely, I think they definitely need an upgrade in that area. Um, and I think that Duran, if they're considering that possibility, would bring enough of a return to improve in that area. And they certainly have enough young players coming up now to make up for the whole Drouin concept, which was probably the fire they put under their ass. You see the prospects coming up here, Mr. Drouin? We need results or you're going to move. Uh, Devils and Flyers. The, the Devils, now, I said this in the beginning of the year that the Devils, when you bring in a guy like Subban, just like last year when they brought in Carlson and it looked disheveled for a while, same thing is going to happen with a guy like Subban. The coach, the team, everything has to adjust to a guy with that type of style, that type of offensive ability to make up for a few of the risks that he kind of makes that far outweigh the offense that he brings, by the way. But that can cause a little issues with placement, uh, finding the right partner, and all of those things like that. I think the Devils will be definitely fine. Um, now, that is assuming that uh, Schneider and Blackwood play up to par. If that's not the case, like any team, goaltending is completely necessary for a team to be successful. But that being the case, I think they'll be fine. Now, they play in the Flyers and they're on the road, and they haven't looked that great right so far. The Flyers now have adapt seem to have adapted fairly well to bringing in Hayes, but mostly because what they brought in, they brought in Niskanen and they brought in Braun. Those are guys that you don't need to adjust around. If they play a game that is very simple, uh, they're, they're there to help their young players play maybe more of a simple game or what have you, like Progroff and Gosh to Spear and stuff like that. It's just some veteran leadership. So the adjustment isn't the same. Um, it's much easier. And if you got Carter Hart, who's playing fantastic. I would not bet this game. Did I say who I was going to? I said the Sabres 3-1 to one over the Canadians. And if I didn't, that's what I meant to say. Uh, Flyers and Devils. I think I'm going to take the Flyers here. Um, Carter Hart is supposed to be in net. It doesn't really matter which goaltender is in net for the Devils right now. I still think they have some adjustment. I would not bet this game, though, because it could go either way. If the Devils are kind of getting it figured out now, they could easily win this game. But since the Flyers are home, I think I'm going to take the Flyers 2-1. to one. Uh, The Kings versus the Canucks. By the way, I was watching the Kings game last night, and they have this college kid that they signed, Lazat. Freaking fast. Holy shit. That, that is a... I don't know. That's going to be interesting to watch that kid progress. Uh, I liked him. I just wanted to bring that up. The Canucks have not played well. Uh, Green looks very disheveled about how his team is reacting there. I do not like the energy that's coming from that situation, that team right now. I did not like the Myers. I did not like Myers at all. Uh, I didn't like that signing. I think he's way overrated and paying $6 million a year for a player like that is I think is probably going to bite them in the ass, honestly. Markstrom is playing extremely well. I don't know if he's going to be playing tonight or not. They, they're not sure. If he is, I'm probably going to take the Canucks here. Um, just because Green is such a great coach, I have to figure they're going to have a fire in their, under their ass here. L.A. might be a little bit tired because they've been on the road. Um, however, they played Campbell last night. He played very well, and Quick will be in net tonight. Um, I said L.A. was going to be bottom of the league, but they're this is it's only three games in. I'm going to take the Canucks. I'm about four to three. I would probably not bet on anything but the Habs-Sabres game tonight. 
Anyways, boys and girls, that's my full 42%. That's all I have to give. Thanks for tuning in and uh, enjoying these fine pearls. Have a great day. Lots of love to you.